Welcome back to Firefield Vision, powered by Novacare. Kevin Egan here, delighted to be joined by Frank Yallop, head coach, shortly after a wonderful 2-0 home win over FC Dallas. Frank, your overall thoughts on that performance? I thought it was great. Um, you know, I think our, our game plan worked. You know, they were a very, very good team that possessed the ball well and create chances by a lot of passes. And I thought we caught on the break, especially early with David's uh, goal. And I thought all, all night long we looked like we were going to sort of catch, catch another one or we'll get another goal on the break. So and I thought we defended great. And that was the main thing for me. A clean sheet. You know, Sean played his part in that, but the back four were excellent in, in stopping that team. You know, last week on Firefield Vision, we highlighted Mauro Diaz, we highlighted Castillo, but mainly Diaz in that role. And I felt yesterday watching Lorenzo and Gehrig, and in particular Paul Sturt and Coach Isha ahead of them, they didn't give him a sniff. No, that's an important area in, in, in most teams. It's, you can be very vulnerable in that area or very solid. And I thought we were very solid in that area because the two centre backs in, in Jeff and, and Eric. Uh, and Poles and um, Razvan, there's no space to play. They were very close to each other. That box was tight and they chased them out of there. And then, you know, Diaz wants to operate in that little area. Some of the spots he got in, he did play some good balls, but in the majority of the play uh, in the game, we, we, we snuffed them out of there and it was good. How would you defend David Akam? Um, well, it's just showing you got to either foul him or, or, you know, he's very difficult to stop. Um, you know, he's just coming back from full fit, uh, getting full fit now. So, you know, exciting times for us to have him on our team because he's he's electric when he gets the ball and he makes a big big difference to any team. And it's great to have him on our team. Obviously, only a short time now since the Chicago Fire beat Dallas, but attention quickly turns now to Friday night. Portland, very difficult place to go and play, but the Fire had pre-season out there as well. Did that help to, to go there earlier in the year and get the players like Sean Maloney, newer players, Addy Elton, these types of guys to get out on that field and get a sense for it? I think so. You know, it's a, it's a different thing when the season's flowing and, and they're a good side at home and they're a good team. So, um, but I felt, I feel that, I um, mean, we've had sort of three games in a row. We haven't lost. We've won two, tied one against MLS opposition in the cup and in our league. So we're excited to go there. We're, we're ready to get a, a win on the road for a change. You know, we haven't done that for a while. So um, tough game, but, um, you know, I feel the way we're playing right now, we, we, we can do it. All right, Frank. Cheers. Thank you. So the fire with a very impressive 2-0 victory at Toyota Park and one of the things I found to be most impressive throughout the 90 minutes was that gritty, that hard-nosed mentality in the centre midfield with Polster and Cochise and also the centre half pairing of Jeff Lorentz returning from injury, the captain alongside Eric Gehrig. Let's take a look at a few clips that really illustrate that hard-nosed mentality and that intelligent stepping from the Chicago Fire. First up, we're going to see Fabian Castillo, he's going to drift into a central area, a little bit frustrated, he hadn't gotten the ball on the flank yet, goes into that central area, and if we roll it on, you'll see Laurentwitz showing leadership, steps right in, physical nature, brushes Castillo off the ball, keeps possession, playing the ball back to Sean Maloney. Again, as Dallas are about to break, I love Eric Gehrig's composure here, his reading of the game, just steps across Texera, wins the ball back, and a very calm, composed little back heel to Lavelle Palmer. Wonderful reading of the game from Eric Gehrig. The communication was there all throughout the game for the fire. Again, here another clip, just to illustrate the team effort here. You have Polster, you have Gehrig stepping in, Kochish, all three Chicago Fire players with that hard-nosed mentality, like I mentioned before, to win the ball back for their team. Very impressive throughout. Another clip now, you'll see Jeff Laurentowitz and Matt Polster both step in a really timely, aggressive manner, and now David Akam off to the races. That's exactly what Frank Yallop will want from his team. All throughout this match, it was very well illustrated. Eric Gehrig, one more time, just stepping at the right time. Barrios is away, he's very quick. Gehrig times it to perfection, and Chicago Fire now try that switch. That was the game plan to David Akam, isolate him the pass. Wasn't perfect. The idea, though, spot on. So Frank Yallop, he switched it up slightly, moving David Akam up front and in that 10 role really for a lot of the game and I felt it worked quite well, Sean Maloney on the left hand side. David Akam was offside three times and there were several other chances in the game where I felt that the likes of Harry Ship, Sean Maloney, Coach Ish and Polster were going to play that pass only to see him in an offside position. So checking that run and making sure he's onside will be crucial away at Portland. But there were also a few times in the game where I felt David Akam had made the perfect run and was looking for the right pass and it wasn't given. Both times here, we're going to take a look at these clips. Lavelle Palmer plays the throw, and now you'll see David Akam's run. Just pause it here. You'll see that that's a simple, in my opinion, pass with the outside of the foot. Johnson, look where the arrow is pointing. Just weight that ball perfectly into David Akam, and he's in on goal. It's a lovely run from a very pacey player that can cause problems in those areas. Johnson keeps the ball, but it slows down the attack. Next play. This is a great tackle. Great step from Jovan Jones. 
Now, Jason Johnson one more time picks his head up. I think he needs to play it now. Just with the inside of the foot, again, just a weighted pass into David Akam, who will beat Hedges for pace, and it could give him a good chance. In the end, it's a decent play, a decent cross for Harry Ship, who I think needs to do better in that instance with the header. David Akam, a joy to watch, an electric footballer, and finding him in those right spots will be absolutely crucial when the Fire take on Portland at Providence Park. The match is on Friday night. It's at 10 p.m. Central. It's on Unimas, and Chicago Fire look to get a win against the Portland side that's only picked up two points from their last four games. It promises to be a good one.